This is um, Sam Kinison was on years ago. I don't even know how many years ago this was. This was a long time ago. Yeah, this is when he was in war, a war with Bob Goldthwait. And we called Bob. Bob was filming the movie Scrooged. And he was on his way to the set. <laughs> and we, we called him, and, Sam, and I said, hey, can't you and Sam get together? And Bob was trying to make an effort to get together with Sam. I yeah, mean, he really was in a, a, attempting to reconcile their whole problem. But Sam had been drinking heavily that morning, let's be honest. I mean, he had been hitting the champagne all night and then came in with a couple of bottles. And, and was in no mood to be peaceful. Yeah, and he tried, and then Bob would say something kind of innocently, you know, trying to protect his manhood somewhat, and then <laughs> Sam would just go off on him. Well, you listen to the tape, you'll notice that when Sam goes off, nothing really bad has been said. I know, nothing really. It was, he was totally <laughs> irrational. Bob was like, hey, I didn't steal your rack, you know, I'm a completely different comedian. And even I said to him, hey, you know, Bob isn't the same as you. <laughs> I've listened to this tape easily a hundred times because it's, it's maybe my favorite moment ever on the show. Yeah. And what you miss is Sam's like, all right, I'm going to be calm. And then he starts to get angry and you calm him down. And then he just goes off the road for no apparent reason. Yeah. I mean, he was really trying to be calm for like the first 10 minutes and then he just, just got angry. Do you think it's right to uh, pick this up in the middle of the conversation? Yeah. All right. People will still get the idea? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what gets on. You see, Bob, that's what gets Sam uh, upset. Did I do movies? Did you do the movie that... Well, so Sam, you can't, hold, you can't hold that against Bob, though. I'm what not mad at Bob, but Bob did a thing on ABC. Mm -hmm. He did an interview, and he really tore me uh, He tore me up. He was going like, if I was as ugly as Kennison, uh, that, uh, that I would be appreciative if any woman found me attractive and gave me any attention. Do you remember that, Bob? Well, Bob, that's not right. Yeah, but Tim, you say in the press that I still react. I mean, so I never said that in the press. You went on the L.A. Reader, dude. You went that I was the Ku Klux Klan's favorite comic, man. Remember that? You were the you were the comic that was the liberal thinker, and that that you represented the uh, the 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 thinking man's comedy, and that I was like the the uh, comedy for the Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. That was in the L.A. Weekly. Now, wait That's when I saw you at the Comedy Ward. You said, "Why can't we be friends?" I said, "Because you have mouthed off in the press, okay, man." Sam, well, a few weeks before that, why didn't you pick up the Village Voice where you said you stole my act? And that was before the L.A. Stole weekend. your act. That was a fag that my ex-manager allowed to go on tour with me. No, wait a second. That I didn't that want to, to write yeah, a review Sam, on me said, anyway. You said in the... I'm, Sam... Dude, I'll be in L.A. tomorrow, all right? Okay, and if you're sober, I'll talk to you. Oh. Oh, well, well why don't you do another winner hit film with Whoopi, your buddy. The only one that can get you work because you're such a no, loser a actor. Wait a and second. you're such a pitiful comic a that wait Sylvester a Stallone no, threatened no, no, to beat wait. your ass no, wait a because second. you said he was a disgrace to anybody no, who ever no, went no. to Vietnam. Remember that, Goldthwait? No, wait a second. I didn't call him I'll beat reason. your ass, Sam, man. wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, you think you're safe? Wait a second. Hold it, Sam. I'll come to the set Sam. and kick your ass, man. Bob. Bobcat. Uh, how so are you doing? Tim, a good what are you going to do exactly? Huh? What are you going to do exactly? I'm going to be afraid of your scary talent that's just going to put all this out of business. <laughs> now, no, wait a second. No, what did you say? You're going to kick my ass? You're going to come to the set? I'm telling you, man. Anytime you want me, you know no, where no, I'm No, 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 no. I'm not challenging you. I don't want to fight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either if I was you because I don't think you can handle it. Well, you, you're probably right. I don't fight. Yeah, no. I don't no, carry guns, You don't so. create very well either, do you? I now, wait what? a second. You probably wake up going, ah! I wish I was him. I wish I was him. Wait a second. I'm Sam. the king. I Sam. always was the king. Sam. When you were peeing your pants up in Boston, kissing Lenny Clark's ass, babe, I was out there paying the second. dues, Wait a letting second. women and waitresses tie me off to keep me going because I couldn't get work. And you and Whoopi and Billy Crystal and all of them can do what you want, man. I'm going to do what I want, and we'll see who wins, man. You must be very proud of your film now, collection, including Screw. Now, wait a second. Sam, I want to. Uh, first of all, no, I ain't I taking didn't this to... guy's crap. No, man. but I it was your idea to call. I did a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad idea because I don't dig this guy because he thinks he's hot. <laughs> and he's oh, not. Right. Wait, wait a second. 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 You know, I think that we can't do this over the phone. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to get you guys together <laughs> on a TV special. Now, come on. Hey, well, anyway. Oh, God. Bob? Yeah. I tried. I tried to get you guys together. Sam, I, thought it I could tried. Work. I thought it could work. I'm wrong. You know, because I, mean, I think you're both very talented. I think both of you guys are very talented people, and it's, um, I think the press, and to a large degree, has it's pitted the press, you guys. Yes. Has pitted you guys against one another. Yeah, I still have the articles when he put me down. Man. All right. I got him on video and I got him on tape, and I never said a thing against him <laughs> until after that. Yeah, you know it's the truth. Wait, wait a second, let Bob don't, talk. 
Let I'll Bob let him talk, talk, Sam. I'll let him talk. Right. He, I didn't say nothing against him, though. It came out in the press. Hey, Sam, you're not going to hold this against me and take me out of the movie, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah, well, let him put him on one of yours so you'll never work again. Oh. oh. Uh-oh, Howard. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Bob? Yeah. Uh, you want to say anything? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Now, I really think that this was an argument created in the press That's by right. the press the because press? they had nothing else to write about. That's right. They hear two guys yelling and they tell everyone that they're the same or they're alike, and right. that's not and true. And you guys are completely well, that, different. You anybody really that compares us are people that have absolutely no idea exactly. what absolutely. our concepts of comedy exactly. are about. It's, it's because I speak from the soul, I speak from my life experience, and Bob speaks. From, from his, his life, life experience, experience right. and he does his thing, right. which is totally different than mine. Exactly, but that's now, the problem. I'm, I'm honest and clean enough to say that. Let me but say But I don't something. deserve to, to be called the Ku Klux Klan Grandmaster's favorite comic, and Sam. that uh, women... Sam, Sam. Went, right, and you said it, Wait, 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 wait. I got wait, wait, it on wait, the wait, press. Wait, wait, wait. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. What, hey, what Sam, do you have to say, Bob? I apologize for that statement, you mean you'd be fine? Do what? If I apologize for that statement, you'd be fine with me? Man... And you wouldn't bring me up anymore, and I wouldn't be. Wait, why don't we agree to do that? Why don't you have? Why don't you guys just say, "Hey, look, we both have very different acts." I know that. You know what it is? The people in the press. It's just like the people who, who wrap me up on those DEA charges. Or the shock jock thing and lumping you with a bunch of no talent DJs. Do you know how many articles I get lumped in with no talent DJs? Seriously, and it drives me crazy. And the thing is, is that they look me in and say, Howard, said, Howard, who are you coming around to a no talent DJ? <laughs> no, 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 don't get oh, me no, wrong yeah. here. I'm yeah, just saying the press. P-U-S-S-S-Y out of it, Howard. No, wait a second. Oh, wait, wait a, a second. Minute, Where's Sam? your manhood, man? <laughs> I sat here and called you the godfather shock radio. Wait I said second. Robin Williams Let should have brought you in as a consultant. And you're, oh, oh, he hung up. Oh, Mr. Rock and Roll. Wait a second. 